Hello, all you financial pros out there. If you basically live your life in spreadsheets, then this explainer is definitely for you. Today, we're going to challenge a core assumption of financial reporting, and we're going to discover why the most powerful thing you can do with your data is actually to show less of it. So let's just start with a really direct question. Think about the last massive spreadsheet you sent out. Was it a tool that brought clarity to your audience? Or was it a trap? You know, a dense maze of numbers that was almost impossible to navigate. This question, it gets right to the heart of our daily grind. And this brings us to something we can call the Excel paradox. We all know Excel is this incredible, powerful tool, but its greatest strength, its flexibility, might just be its biggest flaw when it comes to clear communication. I mean, Excel is the ultimate double-edged sword, right? It's so flexible, it's so powerful, and it lets us build almost anything we can possibly imagine, from trial balances to these super complex financial models. But that's the paradox. It's too flexible. With no guardrails, that freedom often leads us right down a road to complexity and, honestly, confusion. And that lack of guardrails, it leads us directly to the core problem, the danger of the data dump. It's a habit a lot of us fall into, and it unintentionally makes our work so much harder for other people to understand. Does this mindset sound familiar at all? There's this unspoken pressure to fill every single row and every single column. We get this nagging feeling that any blank space is a sign of failure, like we haven't shown all our work. So what do we do? We pack our reports with 10 years of data, month by month, GL by GL, because more data is better, right? Well, the result is that our reports stop being communication tools and they become data archives instead. They just morph into these monster files designed to store every possible number just in case someone somewhere might ask for it. It feels productive, sure, but it fundamentally serves the wrong purpose. So let's contrast that with the real goal. A report's main job isn't to store data. It's to be a communication tool. It needs to transmit insights, tell a story, and help leaders make faster, smarter decisions. And an archive and a communication tool are two totally different things. So this is the really crucial question you've got to ask about your own work. When you send that report with 15 tabs and 120 months of data, are you truly helping people understand the numbers? Or are you maybe, accidentally, hiding the most important insights in plain sight, just buried under a mountain of detail? Okay, so that's the problem. But here's the good news. There is a better way. It just requires a fundamental shift in our purpose. And we can take our cues from one of the leading experts in data storytelling. This new philosophy is so beautifully simple, yet it really has the power to change how you approach every single report you build from now on. And here it is from the data visualization expert Alberto Cairo. The purpose of a chart is not to decorate data. It's to make data easier to think with. Just let that sink in for a minute. Our job isn't to make data pretty or to show all of it. Our job is to make it easier for our audience to think. That right there, that is the entire shift we need to make. So how do we actually put this philosophy into practice? How do we move from these data dumps to real decision-making tools? Well, it comes down to a simple, practical framework. It really just boils down to a simple three-step method. Step one, start with questions, not with the data. Step two, figure out what your audience actually cares about. And step three, challenge yourself to summarize the whole core story on a single page. So what do these questions look like in the real world? Well, instead of just exporting the entire PL, you ask, what are the top three KPIs the CFO is tracking this quarter? Instead of building 10 different tabs, you ask, can this entire story be told on just one page? And finally, you offer the details separately, maybe as a drill down for the few people who truly need them. You see, this approach fundamentally changes your role. You stop being a data pusher, just delivering an overwhelming file. Instead, you become a storyteller, a really valued partner who summarizes key trends and actively helps drive understanding across the business. This is also about using the right tool for the right job. Look, Excel was built to calculate. It is a world-class calculator, but tools like Power BI and Tableau, they were built to communicate. They force you to think visually and to summarize the story. You need both of these in your toolkit for sure, but you have to choose the right one for the task at hand.
Now, this all sounds great in theory, but how do you actually do it when your boss is used to getting that monster file every single month? The key is to proactively change the conversation. You don't have to boil the ocean. Just start with a simple question like this one. Hey, would it be helpful if I summarized the top three trends here and then provided the full details, but only if they're needed? This one sentence, I'm telling you, can completely change the dynamic. It shows you're thinking strategically about their time and their needs. So what does this all boil down to? It means more visuals and fewer tables. You gotta remember, a single waterfall chart can often explain variants way better than a hundred rows of data. It's about more stories and less noise. Focus on the narrative behind the numbers. What changed? Why does it matter? That's the story you really need to tell. And ultimately, it all comes down to this one simple idea. Less is more. Because less data leads to more clarity, more impact, and way more value for your business. That is the new goal. So my challenge to you is this. Don't show everything. Show what matters. When you go into work tomorrow, just find one report, one chart, or even one number that you can simplify to tell a clearer story. Just start there. Thanks for joining this explainer.